Nothing? Nothing. I think you have a sloppy, loose rear end. Because this car is like, something's up. I don't know what it is. And obviously that's why they sold it so cheap. And now I'm regretting doing any of this. I could have just come here and made videos about other people's cars. All right, I'm getting a bit stressed. As you can see, the sun is going down. Shoot, you can't drive home like this at 60 miles an hour. Everybody thinks it's a big party being a car dealer and you make 10 grand a car. Nobody sees you working in the car in the parking lot at 10 o'clock at night. In the parking lot. Mm. Nice looking car too. Hard top closed, drive carefully. Let's release the emergency brake. Bingo. <laughs> Nailed it. Welcome to our first episode of our Meekum Plastic Car Sale 2024. You guys are gonna join me kind of live and see as and see what happens as we go. Today we just got back into Orlando, Florida. You're coming with us, with my father, with my brother, with me, and you're gonna see everything we see. Now in our last video in the series, we're gonna sell five cars all at the Meekum auction, and I really feel like we're gonna lose our shirt. Today's video, we have a ton of running around to do. I was here last month, I bought a car at one auction, I bought a car at another auction. They've both been sitting there, we have to go get them, and I hope they're where I left them. Hope in the condition I bought them in. It's been over a month, I haven't seen these cars, I haven't touched them. And I don't know where even know where they are. You're gonna come up with me the whole day, and then we're gonna finish the day at Meekum and check out some classic cars. My name's Craig from Flying Wheels, let's get going. We're already up to a bad start because my hand was broken on my carry-on, so I gotta walk slant-legged to get, to get this thing rolling. You guys are officially on camera. Say hello to my brother Adam and my father Kevin. Look at this. So stupid. Nice posture. I may have scoliosis by the time I'm done with this. Great car collection, but you can't afford a piece of luggage. Did you get that in the kids section? It's already an adventure. We just got off the uh, tram. I'm alone because the door slammed at my father while he was walking midway through and they got bumped out. So I wish the camera was rolling for that one. We've already had issue number one. So I never use dollar rental ever, ever, ever. Cause when you come to the airport, the line is an hour and a half. I bought Thrifty, Thrifty owns dollar. So we went to wait in line, got our car. Hey, how about an upgrade? You got to try the new Hemi Durango. Ah, fine. All right, I'll do it. They're trying to sell us on one of those things. Let's see how it goes. You want my L4? So I the got L4 is a Traverse. I got a compass. Traverse. I got a compass originally. And he said, you got to try the new Durango Hemi. No, oh, but yes, well, sir, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me explain that. Here in Dora, it's not, we assign the car. It's L4, it's all the classification for the car. It's also like a finder, a Traverse. If you have now, a Traverse is over there. He the said, choice is only two cars. All right, all right, hang on, hang on. That's all right, I'll take care of it. Ah, this with the bait and switch. We got, the, we got used car dealers. The classic bait and switch. Uh, they got us. He specifically said. All right, no Hemi Durango. It's already kind of a letdown. We're gonna get the Ford Escape, the original. That is not a full tank of gas right there. Scammed again. So we're gonna go to the first auction to pick up the Subaru 2018 Subaru WRX. I have a problem and I think, I think we're gonna have a problem. So I sent the Mustang down, the convertible, with the top down and I paid to have it uh, enclosed trailer and everything. I was thinking that it would be undercover the whole time and it probably hasn't been. And I'm looking at the roads, it rains every day in Florida. So I don't know if somebody put the roof on, hopefully, or if they put it under a cover for me. I have no idea. Whoa. That's unsafe. All right, car one is in there somewhere. Where is it? Who knows? That's up for up for us to find. I don't even know how to find it. I have everything. I have the gate pass. We just have to go find the car. We're hoofing it through this whole Yeah, they're not gonna let us drive around. Lane number or something? It, yeah, from three weeks ago. Do they have a golf car you can rent? Maybe, we'll see. Here's Craig loading up his utility bag. All that stuff was in my pockets and my pants are falling down. Now they won't. He's gotta keep his panties up so he can load up his Merce. All right, I have the gate pass. Let's go find the car. You ready, Percy? Yeah, nice. Good. Watch, watch this, ready? One, two, that can fit in there. These can fit in there. Hey, you have any snacks in there? I, I bet I do. I have a pen, floss picks, gum, chapstick. Do you have lunch? Because I'm starving. Let's go. And Charger. You, and you still have your dignity, too. No. All right, shout out to the Mannheim auction because I bought a car three weeks ago at this auction, a Subaru 2018 Subaru WRX. They give me the gate pass, QR code. I scan the QR code, it comes up on my phone, shows me near where the location is. So we will find out how accurate it is shortly. I don't even have to do a few minutes later SpongeBob transition. I think the car is right there. Almost instantaneously we found it, maybe. Where are the keys? 0833. This isn't it. <laughs> Dang it. What a 
It looks identical to this. Oh no. I think I spotted it. White Subaru. WRX. I'm thinking that's her right there. Sold lot, 46,000 miles. VIN 8931. We have a winner. Pearl White. So this is our purchase that I bought a few weeks ago that I didn't even show on camera. Uh, that's a 2018 Subaru WRX with 46,000 miles in Pearl White. STI spoiler. Manual transmission. Yeah, this is way better than the other one. Yeah, this is a score. I didn't, so I made a whole video about this. I never even showed this car. So nobody even knew I got this. All right, so uh, I'm gonna pull it out. Adam, can you move this Equinox and then just put it right back? Sure. Well, let's start. Nothing? Nothing. Oh, sure. When I want to steal the golf cart, it's a bad idea. But when you want it. Because you're not gonna record anything if it's on. The red light's on, all right? Hey, you better watch yourself. I'm not a boomer. I know how to use a GoPro. That thing's locked, so I have to get tight and get it to fit. Stop. Stop. I hope the battery's on that side. Is this worth documenting? Speed. Oh, it up. That's a good sign. It's got the juice. All right, now we just have to make sure we don't stall it. Tuner car. Woo! Thank you anyway. The car that I thought was gonna be the easiest, the most reliable, 46,000 mile 2018 Subaru WRX, clicks like in both sides when I turn. So it shifts smoothly, but it kind of feels like an axle, doesn't it? It does feel like an axle. When you turn right or left, you can feel it on either side. Just, I think you have a sloppy, loose rear end. All right, listen when I turn. Go in the big parking lot, you'll see. Oh. Is it diff or is it... That's what sucks about, like, nothing is easy. None of this stuff is easy. Ask the one that I thought was going to be good. All right, so I'll take this. Let's go to get the next one. We're following you? Yeah, I'm all stressed out because this car is like, something's up. I don't know what it is. And obviously that's why they sold it so cheap. And now I'm regretting doing any of this. I could have just come here and made videos about other people's cars. What did you say? You can't have no in your heart. You gotta keep on keeping on. Life's a garden, dig it. What movie is that from? But if I don't try this, this is an experiment. If I don't try this, I will never know. So I feel like I'm gonna lose my shirt on everything. I feel like it's gonna cost me a ton of money, but it'll be a lesson I'm learning. And who knows, maybe it's, it's opposite and we'll do well and I've learned from it and next year will be better. And at the very least, it'll be entertaining to watch. Yeah, for everyone else. All right, Craig, over and out. All right, we are at the world famous wing house upon someone else's request, not mine. Here's a test, ready? If I shut this thing off, will it turn back on? We've been driving for 25 minutes? Yeah, 13. Ready? ready? Go! That's a win. Nice. And we need those wins every once in a while. And you just wasted what was left of our right. battery. Over and out. All right, I'm getting a bit stressed. As you can see, the sun is going down because we went for dinner first. The Subaru, Running fine, clicks when I turn. I still have to get the Mercedes at an auction on the other side of town, which I'm on my way to. Fun fact, where I am right now, Metro West Orlando, Florida, I lived here for quite some time, like six years. This is where I started my first car dealership. I'll drive by the house real quick because we're almost driving by on the way to the auction, which is like 10 minutes from my original house, which is kind of neat. That's where I started my car dealership in my driveway. Fun fact, this neighborhood behind me, I'm gonna shut this and hopefully you can see it. This is the neighborhood I bought my first house in and it's, fairly budget neighborhood. They're all like duplex condo type houses. And uh, I worked out of my driveway and in my double garage when I was in my 20s. And this is how I started all of Flying Wheels. And obviously, as you can see that one right there, people don't care how much is in your driveway. This actually was my house right here. And I parked six cars in that driveway right there. Nope, that was my house right there. I would park six cars in the driveway, one in the grass, just like them. And that, I'd work in the lawn, I'd work in the grass, work in the driveway, work in the garage. That's how I started my car dealership. I forgot what it's like driving a Subaru. <laughs> Another guy in a white Subaru drove right next to me. We both looked at each other and both go, I'm quite impressed with Mannheim because QR code, scan my gate pass, and it's supposed to. That little car is where my car is. They plug it into the OBD and it's like a tracker for your car. And then out here is like thousands of vehicles, which we would never find at night. I can walk right to it like it's on GPS. I like this auction so much. So right off the bat, Audi R8, one of my favorite cars. That is a beautiful, beautiful car. And they're reasonably priced. Like I could own this for less than I own my Ferrari and it's a way better car. Is that the one that was a $15,000 dash repair though? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's Audi, yeah. So is Ferrari. 
That is such a cool car. That is a nice looking car. And they come in a 4.2 liter V8 or a 5.2 liter V10. This is uh, convertible. the Lamborghini. Parkon? The base model Lamborghini is the same car as the Audi R8, but has a gigantic price tag over it. Parkon, right? Is that right? After the R8, this is right up he my found alley. the second gen C4. What's the badge on the side say? 40th anniversary. 40th anniversary. Nice. 40th anniversary. So what is that? A nice In the right color. Four? Yeah. Yeah, it's probably like that. Auto. You and your new balances would look good in this. Oh, yeah. That's a sharp looking car though. I like it. What do you think that's worth? 7,500. Yeah, I'm with you on that. I can't believe how convenient this app is. So that black line is showing me where my car is and the blue dot is where I am. So I'm like almost perfectly lined up with my car. I would never, ever, ever have found it without this. So, so convenient. I accidentally left my family. Marco! There he is, okay, they got me. Nice color, huh? Navigated me to the exact spot. Here's my car right here. So this is an 03, I think, Mercedes SL500. Top wasn't shut all the way. That's not good. Hopefully it didn't rain too much. But this is our final car. Let's see if it starts. <sighs> no, that's not good. That's not good. Oh, it is good. All right. Okay. Wow. We got a winner here. We got a winner. Oh, don't lock. Don't lock. Don't lock. Good. I was telling dad, did you know that this is a four stage color? So if you think of like a pearl white, it has a ground coat, a tint color, mm -hmm. and then the clear coat. This has a ground color, a tint color, and then a tinted clear. So you actually have to tint a crimson red into wow. the clear coat. And that's how these colors get that depth, especially like that Mazda mm -hmm. red. Yep. It's incredible in the sunlight. Four stage. This grabbed my attention right Look away though. Because of the color. This color is beautiful. Yeah, this is you. This is you. This is what I should what be driving. driving. in a Tacoma when this is available. I know. It's wow. a beautiful car. It is, yeah, Look it is. at the sill, how it lights up too. I like that. Yeah, maybe I'll look at one of these. A puddle this would be a nice it car. It lights up the ground around. Oh, oh yeah. That's the light. Right. What year is this one? <laughs> 2023, uh, that's a lot of money. 2023 CTS. Yeah, you can't bring it to the grave with you. Good news, my car started. Bad news? It's only a two-seater, so someone's walking back. Good luck with that, cameraman. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know. I got Listen, a, first I got a, boy, you're going to be walking. I got a rumbling in my tummy, and I don't think that the hoofing it's going to help. A rumbling in your tumbling. Uh, well, somebody wants to back it out. I'll move this thing. Um, see the red button right there? Pull that back. What is it? Okay. Like? Eject That's the, the seat? You got me on film? Mm -hmm. Eject those seat out, cuz. No, pull that back. That's the convertible top, I think. Uh, now, now that that's up, all right, that is the roll bar. Yeah, so this one, if you pull that back, should be the convertible top. What's it say on the dash? Probably got to take it out of... Oh, oh yeah, put it in park. park. Yeah, I got it in park. It says, drive carefully, ABC. All right, close it. Like, push that button down. Yeah. All the way. Shoot. You can't drive home like this at 60 miles an hour. So, catch a heck of a lot of wind. All right, go backwards now. Try it the other way. Oh, that's just... That's Can I try? That's just... That's just yeah. You know how we talked about how nice that Cadillac color is? This color is terrible. Is he, is he gonna put the top down though and then it's not gonna go back up, it'll be down all night. Nice, predicting the future. Push that uh, cover down. Oh, hang on, try to lift it up a little bit. Keep going, it's trying. It's not trying very hard. No. I think it slides back, no? All right, now I'm gonna try to push try it forward. It. So push Wait, it try down it again, when it goes down. Push it back a little bit. Craig, he's if you he's push, saying push it down. Push it down when it goes down, ready? You know, something jammed I up. I had a '95 Mercedes convertible, it. and it had the same issues with the hood. The hood would not go up. And down. All right. So now that it's doing that, I just want to get it down. All right. So that's down. That's where it's supposed to be. Is that normal? Yeah. This yeah. flap open when the top is down. So all I want you guys to do, it's got to be leaking hydraulic fluid yeah, from somewhere, but I'm not gonna. Oh, there it is. Remember the old '95 no, I had? just water. Quick? Yeah. They, they all leak the same hydraulic thing. fluid. Yeah. So I'm gonna push it down, and if you guys could, with both hands, push it down at the same time. Yep. Okay. All right. Tell us when. Ready? Go for it. Get, look, at me too. Jammed up. That's not good. Yeah, it won't go. Did it look like that when you bought it? I specifically asked the guy if the top works, and he said yeah, and he lied to me. Obviously, it does not work. Car dealer lied to you? Yeah, that's you unbelievable. unbelievable. All right, let's go up with it. It's working. I can see it in my mirror. It's working. Everybody thinks it's a big party being a car dealer and you make 10 grand a car. Nobody sees you working in the car in the parking lot at 10 o'clock at night. In the parking lot, yeah. Yeah, by yourself. Or I risk taking this on the highway and the wind is absolutely going to catch that and yeah. rip it back. So it probably will. It definitely will. It's a wind tunnel. Yeah, it'll get right in It's going to catch and whip that whole thing back. Push on it. Let's see what happens. All right, we are at a Walmart. It's 8 o'clock at night. Saturday night. My dad had a great idea. I'm gonna get some garbage bags and like duct tape it right here. 
to deflect the wind. We're just gonna try to deflect the wind off of this so it's not going under it, because I feel like on the highway that thing's gonna rip right up. And then tomorrow, when it's light out, I'll play around with it and see if I can get it fixed. This is like worst case scenarios, and I don't even know why. I don't so, in Florida. Adam, tell me what you just said. It's getting a lot worse. So it's not just the clunking now, it's slipping like the clutch is completely blown out or you give it gas and it doesn't want to go anywhere. It just revs out. So it's only getting worse. I don't even know what to do. It's not good. So, so far we were supposed to have a WRX, a Mercedes and a Dodge Durango and we're 0 for 3. All right, I have razor blades, I have a tarp, I have duct tape and I'm just so disappointed because I actually wanted to sell good stuff here. So I came down, I spent like a pretty decent amount of money. I have over $150,000 in cars here. And the whole reason I came down to Florida was to buy cars. I bought two and the two that I bought down here that I took an entire trip to get down here to buy are just complete duds. And instead of enjoying Florida with my father and brother, they're actually like I put them to work and that sucks for them. And it sucks for me that it happened. It's a real bummer. Now I'm gonna have duct tape marks all over my car too. I have to give it to my father because he's turning into Puppet Al. He came up with the idea of the plastic and the duct tape and it was a great idea. So for $12, it could potentially save me that entire top and then tomorrow morning I'll wake up and figure it out on my own in the light. We are full highway mode, 70 miles an hour. My father's a genius for temp fixes. That is really working really, really well. It's a good looking car though. It, I was just saying, it looks great. It's too bad because I really would have enjoyed driving that car otherwise. Yeah, all right, yeah. I'm gonna just lay in my bed, that's all. That's all, all right. right, you guys have fun. Take a shower, relax. Well, we're probably just gonna do the same thing. All right, I'll see you later. And take it easy. Good Bye. luck with your feelings. Bye. It's good. It sounds great. You wanna see me do a burnout? No, no. <laughs> this, is tur this might be a turbo. This thing runs fine for what it is. All right, I'll see you. Good night, I love you. Love you. The next day. So it's the next morning. It really, really bums me out. It's freaking would. duct taped. It's yeah. a nice looking car too. It was from the front, yeah. It was. Tom's our European car tech whiz. I, uh, I told, I bragged about you. I told Craig that you are a uh, European convertible expert oh yes i'm pretty good at that yes right okay so craig bought a couple of lemons it's got some sort of convertible top issue and the boot is a jar so now it's covered in duct tape and trash bags uh what do you call it hood rich not even rich just hood just hood so now yeah it's ghetto fabulous we're trying to figure out how to make the convertible top work for next to free so the so the latch doesn't suck it down yeah it get, like, correct exactly down. yep exactly if you can figure out where the limit switch is also it could be just coded out that wouldn't trigger any warning lights right or, okay when you, when you pull up the spare, next to the spare tire there'll be like a foam insulation it'll be in there catch your brake is it happening on this side a little bit just go slow and peel okay. away don't rip jeez bro it's not leaving residue though, which is good. Don't pull it all off, just enough for us to open the trunk maybe. So whoever painted this trunk previously did not prep it properly. It's just coming right off. And oh the clear coat God. is not sticking at all. So if duct tape can rip it off, you have a bad painter. I can't catch a break with this car. Nope. It's not what I was going for with this weekend. That's a problem. I can't open the trunk either. It's all up here too. The clear coat peeled right off in a bunch of areas. Look at this up here. You can see where it's stuck and where it came off. Delamination. Yeah, we peeled it slow. It shouldn't yep. have done that. Yeah, we were being gentle. I can't open the trunk. It probably has to be latched in the front in order for you to pe uh, pick it up in the back. So we'll have to peel this off. Is this the key to this? Yeah. Do you mind if I get in and try it for the button? What about in park, emergency brake on, all that stuff? Did you try any of that? Try it again. I don't want to make more of a headache. You we'll fire it up. Open the trunk for me. Now it feels like it's stuck on something, doesn't it? Yeah. Here we go. Oh. Okay. Hey, hey! Hang on, hang on. I put the parking brake on. We have some action. The That's parking it. brake on? I put the parking brake on, I put it in park, and then hit the button. All right, just for fun, try to close it then. Imagine if that's all it was. Parking brake. The parking brake? Uh, push it down, Dad. That lever, that red button. Push it down.
Nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. All right. So dad put the emergency brake on. So I went to pull the emergency brake and the whole cluster came off the dash. 39,000 miles. You're getting 10 miles to a gallon in this hog. Wow, that's disappointing. Uh, where are we? O'Reilly Auto Parts, hold that up here. Oh, oh, oh. O'Reilly Auto Parts will get a shout out because they had, first of all, the guy found the competitive synthetic hydraulic fluid for mm, us that nice. would work. Competitive? No, the, I don't know, he like. Cross-referenced cross it. Cross-referenced it. And then they had a gear loop pump with a Yamaha adapter that fits into the filler neck on this car. All right, so you got a bottle of hand sanitizer. It's made for this problem. There, and the screw's in here. I think you might want to disconnect the hose from the plunger first. It was just as difficult. All right, ready? Let's see what happens. Is there a way for air to escape as it fills in? I don't know. I don't know if maybe you have yep. to have it running. Some air is escaping. I think we may have to just start using it a little bit and then it should hopefully bleed yeah, itself out. Yeah, you want to try to use the top? We'll put the head and arms in there. And with it open? Um. What if it builds pressure and pumps out backwards and then we lose more fluid? We're losing air, which is good. Why don't we just try to pump a bunch in right yeah, now and then put way. the put the cap back in, the okay. set screw back in, and then use it a bunch. All right. Isn't there a bleeder screw though? Maybe you need to take out two screws so that you can let the air escape rather than back feeding it through the tube. Yeah, what's this one closer to me? This? Yeah, that's nothing. Take out, loosen the other screw, let the air bleed out of that, not out of the tube. Yep. Oh yeah, that's there working. There we go. That's working. I don't know, we have enough in maybe? Because now it's just kind of coming out. Put it in, let's feed it through the system. Did the reservoir look like it changed at all? I can't tell. Yeah, me either. Oh, I see the level on the side over here. It's still got some, some room to go. I mean, we should have checked this before, huh? I can see the level there. Should it be full to the brim or what do you think? Oh, look at it. Look oh, at it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. Nice. We can see it's filling up. That flashlight was a huge helper. Clutch. All right, ready? I'm going to remove it. That's why I always carry a flashlight. Thank you, Streamlight. <laughs> Nothing. Oh. 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 oh, baby. We did it. That's the gap we wanted. Success. We That's did it. That's the gap we wanted. Nice. All right. Don't touch anything. See if the top goes down now. Oh, <laughs> seriously? I feel like I don't get enough credit for the things I do and the suggestions I make. Yeah, the guys at O'Reilly's really came in clutch this time. You guys are awful. I found the syringe. I'm the one who put the emergency brake on. I'm the one who said, let's try and close it. Yeah, it was a joint effort, but it nice was. work. You guys all did a good job. This is a bummer. We don't even know if the top works. it on this side too now. I feel bad about that. It's doing it all the way up the pillar. You want to brush on some clear coat, spray on some clear coat, get some silicone spray? No. Tur no. Turbo wax. I want to do as little use car dealer shadiness as I can. This is enough. Yep. Oh yeah, we already did some of that. Well, look at the bright side. It closed. Yep. No longer a jar. That's a nice gap. That's what you're looking for. All right. Success. Over and out. Hard top closed. Drive carefully. Let's release the emergency brake. Bingo. <laughs> Nailed it. Just when we think problems are over, I have the horn beeping at me behind me and uh, some flights flashing. That's not good. Cool. Do you have an issue? Yeah, we lost Dad. Oh, God, I thought your car broke down. No, we lost Dad. All right, well, how? It was, it's, O'Reilly's right there. <laughs> are you really it's right, we're right here. Osceola Heritage Park. Just have him plug it in. Osceola Heritage Park. What? Towards Ocala? No. No. No, no, no. I don't know. He's going to put his GPS if he's on the turnpike. All right. To help you then. You just have to use your GPS and go to Osceola, Osceola Heritage Park. If he looks up Meekum Auction, it'll come up. Yeah, and I we'll meet him there. He called me and he goes, Hey, make sure you guys don't lose me, all right? You took off pretty fast out of there. And the second I hung up on him, we took a U turn and then he went, like, just left. It's the last This is how far we've gone. Um, I thought your car died. So this is a better scenario. We just drive like Right. All right, I'm going to find a car wash and then we'll go. After all of that, we are finally here. It's a lot of cars. And just like that, we're done.
just like that. Like I literally pulled in and they're wiping it down for me, took my plate off for me, registering it. Super, super easy. That was awesome. Look at them go. Here, open that up. Let's see, we got a swag pack. Kind of. Swag. Stuff we all get. Oh. Prestigious. Yeah, you're the guest. Yes. What's the other one say? That's a bitter. I get, oh, they're connected. I got 250 G's spending power on this bad boy right here. I'm not bitter. Well, it's official. We have made it. Now I just need to check on my Skyline, my Mustang, and my Corvette. I have to find them, first of all. And it looks like they got a good amount of rain because there was mud everywhere. And that Mustang, I had the dang convertible top down. So I don't know if they put it up or I don't know if they put it under a tent. I have no idea. We're going to go find out and then close out this video as a possible success. Values have plummeted on Ferraris. Hey, look at it. Here we go. Another SL500. Well, it's the end of the day, and I spent the whole day just looking around at cars, never once found our cars, but now that it's the end of the day, we end up finding our cars in the staging lane, like pre-stage for tomorrow's sale. Here's the Mustang, came out amazing. 91 Fox body convertible. We replaced the windshield on it. We sewed the seat. I did find the button for the steering wheel. The top has been up all week long, which is great. I put the boot back on it. The exhaust came out excellent. The car looks so good. Like this looks like a Mecham quality car. I really, really am, am proud of that car. You'll notice the windows down too. We also replaced the window regulator on this car. Oh, I saw my Skyline getting washed and I was told it's in the staging area. So the Skyline should be here as well. And I think I see my Skyline right here. Yeah, there's my Skyline Midnight Purple 2. Looking pretty damn good in right-hand drive. Looks good. Yeah, happy with this one. We have a lot of admirers already on the skyline. And there's Adam admiring his work. So he did the paint, he did the shift knob, he did the boost gauge. So I actually have a 15 Corvette. So I haven't even ever seen the car. Ever, ever. Never, ever in person. So that's around somewhere. I don't even know what it looks like. So, 15 Corvette here? Yeah. I've never seen it. I bought it in Virginia, had it shipped down here. I've never seen the car ever. Yeah. Better looking SL than mine. All right, I think this is mine. I have this literally, this is the first time I've seen this car. I honestly would keep this for myself. It is a 2015 Corvette Stingray. It does have some body kit on it. I like the spoiler on it. I have not seen this car in person, honestly. So this is the first time you're seeing it and myself. 70 something thousand miles, 20 inch wheels. It is a convertible. It's a really good looking car and I bought it right. I paid like 29,000 or I'm into it for under 30 shipped here. I think do well, honestly. I haven't seen a lot of C7 Corvettes this week. Let's see what else is here. I'd love to see the bikes before we check out the classic cars honda cr 500 this is a rare rare monster of a bike two stroke 500 cc that is crazy so i really like how this car looks with the top down which makes me think i should put the top down in my car i wouldn't so that 71 chevelle over there has a cowl induction hood it says it on the side of the hood but it doesn't have the actual vented cowl induction. It just has that right there. Right. Why? Why do they call that cowl induction? This, I love the roof on it, but look at the bodywork on this hood. Check out this Dodge Dakota convertible. Now that's cool. This was supposed to be my restoration project. 